All I want for Christmas is a perfect NFL ticket. Is that being too greedy? Oh, hi, it's your old pal, Dolby. Welcome to week number 16 in the NFL. Make sure that after this video is done and you got all the picks that you need, that you hit the links in the description down below so that you can find the game list, the spreads, and everything else that you need to play from home. Vegas is absolutely reeling after week number 15. Every single favorite this week won their game. Not one underdog upset victory. This is the third time since like 1970 that that's happened. I mean, there should have been an upset because for some reason Pittsburgh was the underdog and then for some other reason, the ridiculous surviving the catch rule came into play. So Pittsburgh does not beat New England even though Man, that rule sucks, and I've been saying that since Megatron got screwed over the first time all those years ago. Why the NFL won't take a look at that rule and realize something needs to be fixed, I don't know. Now, I did take a couple underdogs to win in week number 15, but the one that I got raked over the coals by you guys the most for was my against the spread pick saying to take the Jets plus 15 and a half points against New Orleans. I had comments on every platform saying, Dolby, you're crazy. New Orleans is gonna win. Third string quarterback for New York. This is gonna be a 20, 30 point blow up. Well, it took a garbage time touchdown from New Orleans for them to win by 11. So yeah, check that one off for me. But sadly, other than that, Dallas struggled against Oakland, which we'll get into later in the video. And of course, there was the whole Pittsburgh debacle against New England. So I only went one and two for my against the spread picks in last week's video. Straight up, a little bit better, six and three. And then for the entire week last week, went 11 and five, which is a very nice bounce back from seven and nine in week 14. Now sitting at 153 and 71 for the season, that's a 68% pick rate so you know that I'm at least giving you a little bit of gospel here. You'll find all my picks straight up for every game every week in the NFL by following me on Twitter at Dolby or on Instagram search Dolby FM to get the full lineup. Speaking of lineups, let's take a look at what we've got for week 16. Atlanta and New Orleans are going to play for the second time in just three weeks. Last time, I picked New Orleans to win that game in this video and to cover the spread and Atlanta ended up winning by three points. But I think it's more accurately described as New Orleans losing by three points because they had many chances to win that game. At the end of the first half, New Orleans got a great interception against Matt Ryan and put themselves in field goal position with just four seconds left. Then took a terrible illegal shift penalty, 10 second runoff, all of a sudden the half is over, no points on the board. Now we go to the end of the game and Drew Brees has the ball in field goal range, but they've got time, they've got downs, so they go for it, throws a bizarre pick into coverage, interception, game over, Atlanta wins. So that's anywhere between six and 10 points taken off the board by bad New Orleans decisions, which I think they've learned from, and I don't think that they give Atlanta that escape option again this time around. Atlanta's won five of their last six, but we've talked about this before. If you look at who they're beating and how they're beating them, it's not actually really anything you can point at and be like, oh yeah, look at that, Atlanta's a great team. The New Orleans offense steps up, makes better decisions with the ball, and they're at home easily covering five and a half points on this one for the win. For the last three weeks, I have waxed poetic. I have been all in on the legend of Jimmy G. Jimmy Garoppolo, in as the starting quarterback for San Francisco, has done awesome. But, as with most legends, eventually, they collide with reality. Jimmy Garoppolo, three for three as the starter for San Francisco with over a thousand yards passing in that span. He's made San Francisco a relevant team again, which just five weeks ago we could not have said. But he did do it against Chicago, Houston, and Tennessee. So he hasn't exactly been taking down the league's best defenses. Now this week, he's got to work that same magic against the best secondary in the league in Jacksonville. A win here cements the legend status this season for Jimmy Garoppolo. Don't get me wrong, I just don't think that there's any way that that can happen. Pesky reality says this is not going to be pretty. And San Francisco's run defense has actually been a big part of this turnaround, but they're also now going up against a runner like Leonard Fournette. And if he's healthy, that's gonna really be the test to see if this defense is for real or has just had a string of good luck. It's been a nice run for San Francisco, no question, but with Jacksonville easily covering four and a half on the spread this week and then a game to end the season against LA, 
it's come to an end. So what do you get when you take Seattle and completely dismantle the Legion of Boom? You get a blowout win by LA. Seattle lost 42 to seven last Sunday, allowing Todd Gurley to torch them for over 150 yards and three touchdowns just on the ground. Now they take on Dallas, who are getting their motivated monster Ezekiel Elliott back from a six game suspension. And from everything that we've seen of footage and photos of him training down in Mexico during that six games, he's coming back bigger, leaner, faster, stronger, and that's bad news for a team that seems like maybe they've kind of given up a little bit in Seattle. The last two games, Seattle has played with this weird emotion while they're losing, and it's cost them with weird penalties, bad penalties, and bad decisions, and Russell Wilson, who's had to run for his life this entire season, is no longer able to overcome the shortcomings that injuries and bonehead plays have brought against him. Now, Dallas has struggled to put away Oakland last week, is concerning. Don't get me wrong, we're not glossing over that. But I do think that now that this team is kind of 100% again, they're still very much in a playoff race. I think that that motivation with Zeke coming back is going to be enough for them to find their stride and keep their playoff hopes alive while subsequently eliminating Seattle. I like Dallas to cover five and a half on this one. Okay, pools time. This week, I'm going with Detroit, both LA's and Pittsburgh on the road. And I'm gonna take Carolina and Kansas City playing at home. And that's what I've got. Let me know what you think in the comments below about my picks and of course about your picks. I wanna see just how much you guys believe in your teams and your tickets this week. If you haven't already, check the links in the description down below so that you can get your own tickets made if you're playing on Sports Select. And of course, make sure that you subscribe. Yeah, it's week 16, but we've still got another week to go and you can damn well bet there's gonna be another video next week with all those crazy week 17 who's playing, who's trying games, and we're gonna nail them, trust me. I'm your old pal Dolby, thank you very much for coming to watch. Again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that you can get more straight up picks, and until then, I will see you next week for week 17. If you wanna make sure that you're getting all the line spreads and game lists before anybody else, you gotta be an MVP. Follow the link in the description of this video to sign up with WCLC to get alerts, notifications, and emails directly to you with everything that you need to play.